right now I'm holding the cord to the to the heater to the canopy I want to see I want to make sure that there's a long enough cord to reach the electrical outlet notice the electrical outlet is off -sider. okay what we have here is a two pro two outlet uh, unit we not a problem we can plug it in the right way and what we end up with here is the, the cord drops down far enough to the bottom of the to the floor and then it rises back up this is called a drip loop okay should there be any condensation or other types of uh, water movement that get onto the cord they'll drip down the cord because they're going to run by gravity right down there and they'll stay on the bottom okay the important thing here is that the water cannot get into the into the power a lot of people we're going to have a will have multiple um, devices going into the aquarium we're going to have three right now we have only two outlets one of which is being used by a light but the other one is being used by the canopy okay there's two ways to do this the first one is to take and put in a power bar I don't tend to use power bars I'm a little bit afraid of them because if I take the take a power bar generally it sits on the ground and if you put it on the ground okay what you're going to end up with is water getting into the power socket and you can cause a fire that way I don't like that uh, that concept at all I have no in intention of, of losing a losing my house to a, to a fire from a, from an electrical electrical source as such I'm going to do something else I have to uh, install it before I before I go on because otherwise I lose my light so if you give me a second I'll be right back <laughs>